Can you work out what the last digit of this number is? 111 to the power of 111 plus 222 to the power of 222 and so on up to 999 to the power of 999. When we're doing these last digit puzzles there's one trick that really we use over and over again and that's the fact that if I want to know the last digit of a sum or a product I can just look at the sum or the product of the last digit. So when we add together say 417 plus 329, I do seven plus nine is 16, and then I do some other addition, but at this point the last digit of the problem is fixed. We know that the last digit is six. All of the other working is just gonna go into the other part of the number here. So I can get the last digit here by just adding the last digits and seeing what the last digit of the result is. But crucially, we can do it when we multiply as well. So if we do 417 times 329, I'd have seven times nine is 63. And that's actually all I need to work out the last digit. Okay, I would do some other multiplication on this row, but we know on the next row, I'd start with a zero and then the next one with two zeros. So the last digit of the answer here is just three. It's just the last digit of seven times nine. There are much more formal ways you can justify these results. I'm just trying to give you the gist of the idea here. But if you're happy that these multiplication and addition methods work, then this should be convincing. So what's the implication for us trying to work out something like 444 to the 444? Right, well, that's 444 times 444 times 444. 444 times. Well, we know the last digit of 444 times 444 is just the same as the last digit is of 4 times 4, so I don't really have to worry about these digits anymore. I haven't changed the last digit by ignoring those first digits, and the same when I multiply by 444 again, when I've got the last digit of these first two times the last digit of this third number, so the last digit of this product is going to be just the same as if it was just 4 times 4 times 4 444 times. So that gives us a nice simplification here. I can just get rid of the first two fours in this problem and I haven't changed the last digit of the answer at all. And of course, by exactly the same argument, I can also get rid of the first two digits of all of the other numbers here. So I'm just looking at one to the 111 plus two to the 222 plus three to the 333 and so on. So let's look at each of these in turn. 1 to the 111 we know is 1, so its last digit must be 1, and that would also be the last digit of 111 to the 111, because 1 to any power is equal to 1. So I can actually remove the power here and say that this one is just 1. Now thinking about 2 to the 222, I've just written out the first 8 powers of 2 here, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and 256, and you can see the last digits form a pattern, 2, 4, 8, 6, uh, 2, 4, 8, 6. And this pattern must repeat then because we've got this result that the product of the last digits is the last digit of the product. If I go to 2 to the 9 here, I'm just taking 2 to the 8 and timesing it by 2. So the last digit is going to be the last digit of 6 times 2, which is 2. So actually to form these patterns, again, I only need to to think about the last digits. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, the last digit is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, the last digit is 2, and so on. And that's what we'll do for the other numbers. So the question is, where is 222 in this list? So this pattern is repeating every 4, so that means that 2 to any multiple of 4 ends in 6, 2 to any multiple of 4 plus 1 ends in 2, and so on. So if you think about 222, that is 55 times 4 plus 2, so 222 is 2 more than a multiple of 4, so it's going to have the same last digit as anything else that is 2 more than a multiple of 4, so that would be here, the 2 and the 6, so the last digit of 2 to the 222 is 4. So we can replace 2 to the 222 in the problem with 4. We have something very similar for the powers of 3, they go 3, 9, 27, 81, 243 and so on, and you can see again that the last digits form into this cycle of repeating every 4, 3971, and it'll go 3971. Because of that last digit result, we know this pattern has to keep repeating. So it's just a question of where 333 fits into this pattern. Now 333 is 83 times 4 plus 1. So it's one more than a multiple of 4, 332 being a multiple of 4. So it's got the same last digit as anything in this list where the power is one more than a multiple of 4, so the 3 to the 1 and the 3 to the 5. And so the last digit of 3 to the 333 is in fact 3, and so we can just uh, replace that in our sum here. Then we can go through the other ones pretty quickly from here. The powers of 4 are 4, 16, 64, etc. So this one has a pattern 
that just switches between 4, 6, 4, 6. So any odd power is going to end in a 4. Any even power is going to end in a 6. 4, 4, 4 is even. So the last digit of 4 to the 4, 4, 4 must be a 6. 5 and 6 are the easiest ones yet because 5 times 5 is 25. That ends in a 5. So actually any power of 5 must end in a 5 because I'm going to just keep multiplying something with last digit 5 by 5. It will have last digit 5. Same with 6. 6 times 6 is 36. So any power of 6 will end in a 6 for the same reason. So I can just replace 5 to the 555 five, five, and 6 to the 666 six, six with 5 and 6. For 7 we get a cycle that repeats every 4, and I'm not going to work out the full numbers now, there's no need to. 7 times 7 is 49, I just need to take the last digit 9 and then times that by 7 to get 63. I'll take the last digit which is 3 here and then times that by 7 to get 21. I'll take the last digit of 1 times that by 7 to get 7. And at that point you see I, I know I've got that repeating pattern and we just need to know where 777 fits into that pattern. So 777 is 194 times 4 plus 1. So it's one more than a multiple of 4. And so the last digit of 7 to the 777 is the same as the last digit of 7 to the 1 or 7 to the 5. And so again, we can replace the 7 to the 777 just with a 7 here. Then the same logic for 8. 8 times 8 is 64. So just take the 4 times it by 8 to get 32. Take the 2 times it by 8 to get 16. Take the 6 times it by 8 to get 48. And then we're back into that repeating pattern. And uh, 888, of course, is exactly 4 times 222. So it's a multiple of 4. Then 8 to the 188 is going to have the same last digit as 8 to any other multiple of 4. So the last digit is going to be 6. Then the powers of 9. Go okay, uh, 9 times 9 is 81. Take the 1, multiply it by 9 to get 9. That one just repeats every other one. So any odd power has last digit 9. Any even power has last digit 1. 999 is odd, so this one has last digit 9. So we have the last digits of each of those powers. To get the last digit of the sum, then I just add all of those together and work out what the last digit is. So if we add all of these numbers together, you can check that we get 47, and then the last digit of 47 is just 7, and that must be the answer to this problem. And if you liked that video, I think you'll really like my previous video as well, where I investigated solutions to the equation x to the y equals y to the x, so things like 2 to the 4 equals 4 squared, they're both 16. But what other solutions are there? There's a really interesting conclusion to that video where one of maths's most famous constants comes up in quite a surprising way.